this across all these different categories of drugs too, right? You know, uh, somebody takes uh, Ritalin, Adderall, Modafinil, or Armodafinil. These are the common prescribed drugs now, and people use them recreationally for ADHD. In fact, in researching an episode for our podcast on ADHD, it turns out that more than 80% of college students will rely on ADHD meds quote unquote, recreationally, not prescribed. They buy it from each other in order 80%. to study. 80%. And <sighs> those drugs work mainly by increasing dopamine wow. and increasing adrenaline. And they make your focus like this narrow and you're, you're in a trench and you can yeah. function. But a number of people take them and feel super distracted and lousy. But this is, of course, what they prescribe to kids with ADHD. Yeah. Now, when you, you modafinil, is that, that's provigil? Is that what that is? Yeah. Now there's some, it's very expensive. Um, it's like $1,000 a month in some cases. Really? Is yeah. That much? It, it was originally for a narcolepsy, so to offset daytime sleepiness. That was the original use of the drug. And then it also does work for enhancing focus, right? I mean, that has drawbacks. It's not perhaps as detrimental as like recreational drugs to, um, to increase focus. But most of the students out there and the tech workers, and the, this is big in the finance world too, are relying on Ritalin, Adderall, and things like Vyvanse. And to be clear, they have legitimate clinical uses. What is, what is Vyvanse? It's another one of these drugs for ADHD. Here's the, the story around why these drugs initially came to be. If you look at kids or adults with ADHD, like true attention deficit disorder or hyperactivity disorder, you don't always have the hyperactivity. What you find is they can focus really well if it's on something they like. So a kid with ADD or ADHD that loves video games, that kid will play video games with laser focus for three hours. That sounds like me. But then you put them in front of something they don't want to do, and they just can't anchor their discipline. They that, just don't have the discipline. That also sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> Although I doubt that. I don't know. We, we, uh, maybe it'll come up later, but your discipline for fitness and ice baths and yeah, tra like training calm. I like those things. Though. Right. Well, you, well, and if you can arrange your life such that most of your stuff is around that, great. But uh, these kids if prove that if you like something, you can focus. And right. it, it comes as no surprise then that the drugs for ADHD universally increase dopamine because dopamine is this incredible molecule that enhances focus, motivation, and drive and literally narrows the aperture of your visual attention. And we've all experienced that. And of course, drugs like cocaine and amphetamine do that to a hyper extent, and then there's a crash. But with these drugs, if prescribed in the right way, in the right situation, they're terrific. They teach the kid's brain how to focus. But nowadays, there is rampant adult ADHD and ADD. Part of that is probably due to the phone, probably part of that is probably just due to all sorts of things. But there is also a lot of recreational use of these prescription drugs, not illicit drugs like cocaine and amphetamine, but prescription drugs that increase dopamine and supplementation for increasing dopamine as well.